I'm Sean Greiser, Manager of Field Applications Engineering here at Enritsu. One of the things we'd like to discuss with you in this Enritsu quick tip is the 4G technology move in the wireless spectrum. Uh, many carriers today have, uh, in, the, in the wireless space have announced that they're going to move to uh, this 4G technology LTE both in the U.S. and around the world. Um, this 4G technology move in, in LTE or long-term evolution uh, brings to light two different things. One, there's increased capacity and also speed of the mobile radio networks is, is made available through this transition. Uh, this is also implemented through two different uh, modulation techniques uh, in this technology through the use of OFDMA or orthogonal frequency division multiple axis in the downlink and SCFDMA or single carrier frequency division multiple axis in the uplink. Now how this network is put together uh, as you can see in the, in the slide is uh, it can be divided into three different areas if you will. Top layer would be the, uh, the service layer aspect in the middle you have the core network, and at the bottom you have the access network. LTE supports the next generation network, or NGN, by providing mobile access to an all IP core. Traditionally, operators built multiple networks to provide multiple services to customers, such as a fixed telephone, cable TV, cellular networks, and data networks. The NGN will provide all of these functions. Uh, it consists of an all, a flat all IP core network that interconnects multiple access technologies and provides a consistent, reliable user experience regardless of the access method. The NGN core will also uh, provide quality of service for a wide variety of applications and services. The next generation network uh, will provide mobility and routing management uh, to ensure that the core sees the mobile network simply as another IP network. Uh, mobile handover between access types will be seamless as the IP access network controls security, authentication, and billing for multiple access technologies. LTE is the first technology designed for the NGN and thus uh, stating and showing itself as the premier wireless uh, standard moving forward. It provides an always-on mobile experience uh, that users will find uh, comparable to those in the wired networks. Here at Enritsu we have products that are ready for LTE now. There are several different products addressing different market aspects and different applications. For example, we have the MD8430A, our award-winning solution for UE and chipset development for LTE. We also have the MF6900A fading simulator, used primarily in conjunction with the 8430A for testing such applications as MIMO and to further enhance the LTE UE chipset development. More at the RF level side, we have the MS2690A series of vector signal analyzers, providing full form, fit, and function with such applications, spectrum analyzers, and vector signal analysis. To complement that, we also have the MG3700A vector signal generator, providing a wide variety of coverage for applications for LTE um, in the component and device level space. All these products are ready and available now from Enritsu.